Yeah, hey, Shakespeare. Yeah, it's me, Evie. I was just going to tell you very quickly about a uh, production of Henry V we're doing at the barn. Hello, I'm Dominic Brewer. And I'm Evie Freeman. And we have come from Sirencester to beautiful, sunny Stratford upon Avon to discover the history of Shakespeare. Join us, William Shakespeare. So, this is where our Shakespeare timeline begins. This is the house where William Shakespeare was born in April 1564. He was the son of John Shakespeare, who was an alderman of the town and a glove maker, and Mary Arden, who was the daughter of a wealthy landowner. And here is the coat of arms of the Shakespeare family. This was added later when Shakespeare became a recognised landowner and uh, gentleman. After Shakespeare left school, the next date we have for him is November 1582, when he married Anne Hathaway. At the time, he was 18 and she was 26 but she was also three to four months pregnant. We know that because she gave birth to their daughter, Susanna, a few months later. Naughty boy. Between the years 1585 and 1592, Shakespeare vanished. There's no record of him anywhere. We don't really know where he was, so that's why they call it the lost years. Why look so glum for? Give us a smile. This is Prince Hal, before he's crowned King Henry V. There's some guy behind him, I don't know who that is. So here we are inside the Swan Theatre at the RSC. We've been given special privileged access between shows to have a look inside, and it really is a beautiful, beautiful building. Evie? Sorry? You good? Yeah, just... just enjoy this swing. Here we are at the end of our Shakespeare timeline. This is Holy Trinity Church. This is where everything that's important in Shakespeare's life would have happened. He was baptised here. This would be where his children would have been baptised. And this is where he was finally buried. His grave is just down the end. So here we are at Shakespeare's final resting place. He's lying next to his wife, Anne Hathaway, and other members of his family, Susanna, his eldest daughter, and her husband, John Hall. And there's a poem on the grave. Good friend for Jesus' sake forbear to dig the dust enclosed here. Blessed be the man that spares these stones, and cursed be he that moves my bones. It's interesting, because no one's ever dug this stone up. They've gone with the curse and left him be. So, that's the end of our Shakespeare exploration, our history of Shakespeare in Stratford-upon-Avon. What do you think? 10 out of 10 for Stratford, 10 out of 10 for Shakespeare. Ah, you've heard it here first. It's a win-win. Mm.